Conservation of energy. That's the topic. Conservation of energy. And I've touched upon the ideas of conservation of energy, I think a couple times now. So I want to bring up an example. Example of a slingshot, firing a pebble vertically into the air. Let's make it a, a reasonably sized pebble, 20.0 grams, not kilograms, grams. Okay, so a 20 gram pebble vertically upwards. And when it's about 4.00 meters up above the ground, Let's say that it has a, an upward velocity, or it's traveling, at 3.20 meters per second, upward. I'll give, you, I'll give people a chance to finish writing down the, the scenario. So we've got this pebble that's being launched. And let's, uh, you know, just, just for argument's sake, just to not overly complicate this thing, let's say it's launching from roughly the ground. And it gets up to a height that's four meters above its, la its launch height. So we're just going to sketch out the scenario. Oh, 4.00 meters. It's always a good idea to draw the diagram. It's, it's people that don't really know what they're doing that don't draw the diagram, not the people that, that do. People that do, the di do know what they're doing always draw a diagram. That's what I should say. Draw a diagram. Make sure you understand what the scenario is. Okay, so we've got this, this pebble that when it gets up to four meters is still traveling at a velocity of 3.20 meters per second upwards. And we should say its mass as well, along with our diagram here. Now this isn't a free body diagram, I'm just writing Twice. How many times? Yeah, thrice. Zero point zero two zero zero kilograms. That's what the mass is. Of the pebble. Of the pebble. So I haven't even asked a question yet. All I've done is, is painted a picture. Okay, so we've got this pebble, four meters up, going at three point two meters per second. And so here's the actual question. Question A. We're going to break it up into a couple of parts here. What is the total mechanical energy of the pebble at the moment described?
Okay, at the moment described above, what's the total mechanical energy? And you say, well, what's the total mechanical energy? Mechanical energy, energy has to do with an object's position and its motion. So we only know two types of energy other than work, and that was gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy, okay? So position and motion. So I can say, all right, well, formula for total mechanical energy must be, and I'll write it as E total, must be equal to the gravitational potential energy plus an object's kinetic energy, okay? And I can break it down even further. I can say, well, gravitational potential energy, we said last time, was its mass times acceleration due to gravity times the dis displacement that it finds itself vertically relative to the, the, uh, the baseline. We can say that the baseline here is zero, height of zero. Plus EK, which is one half mass times the velocity of the object at that point in time squared. So I could figure out what the total mechanical energy is by plugging in some values here. Total mechanical energy being just the sum of the other energies. So mass, 0 0.0200 kilograms. I'm going to have to write small or else drop my trailing zeros here or I'm going to run out of space. So I'm going to drop my trailing zeros, even though I know it's not uh, as wonderful. 9.81 meters per second squared. Displacement vertically is 4 meters. Just dropping my trailing zero so I can fit it all onto the page. Plus 1 half times 0 0.02 kilos times the velocity squared, which is 3.2 meters per second squared. Now, typically, I put this whole thing in at once, but I'm going to ask you to do something special here. I'm going to ask you to find gravitational potential energy, the first bit, and then find kinetic energy, and we'll add those two values together, okay? So take a minute, do the basic calculation, just the EG first, and the EK, and then we'll put them together as an extra step. Should be somewhere around 0.8. A little shy of 0.8 for the EG. Has anybody got gravitational potential energy? Yeah? 0.7848. 7848. I like it. All right, and if you wanted to make sure of those units, you can see that meters times meters per second squared would be meters squared per second squared. And kilograms times meters squared per second squared is joules. Units all work out. So I won't give that any more lip service. And I say plus 1 half times 0 0.02 times 3.2 meters per second squared. Don't forget to square the 3.2. Okay, And you should get something around uh, 0 0.1. Anybody get it? 0 0.1024. 0 0.1024 joules. All right, so we can add those guys together. And uh, has anybody already done it? You both. 0.88 something something. Yeah. 0.8872. Very nice. And taking it to three sig figs, we could say that's approximately equal to 0 0.887 joules. Approximately. That's the total mechanical energy. Now I'm going to pause it at that point.